Good morning. Thank you for the opportunity to present our work on cost effectiveness and budget impact analysis of the implementation of differentiated service delivery models for HIV treatment in Mozambique. The context of our study is that in 2018, the Mozambique Minister of Health launched guidelines for nationwide implementation of eight differentiated service delivery models here listed. Compared to conventional care, these models were expected to improve retention in care and to be less expensive to both the health system and also to its clients. So we conducted a cost effectiveness and a budget impact analysis to inform the Minister of Health on the economic impact of this implementation. The cost effectiveness analysis period was from 2019 to 2021, and it was conducted from two perspectives. From the Minister of Health perspectives, the economic costs included startup costs, antiretrovirus, laboratory costs, and uh, service provision interactions. And the societal perspective additionally included opportunity costs. The budget impact analysis period was from 2022 to 2024, and the financial costs included antiretrovirus, laboratory tests, and service provision interactions. For both cost effectiveness and budget impact analysis, the effectiveness outcome was 12 months retention in care that was measured through an interrupted time series analysis, and the model for this economic analysis was a decision tree model shown on the right side of this slide. Here we present the results. For the cost effective analysis, in the, from the perspective of the Minister of Health, the difference in cost comparing the differentiated care to conventional care was approximately $7 million. And from the society, societal perspective, this difference was approximately $39 million. And the difference uh, of effectiveness comparing these two models was 15% in favor of the differentiated service delivery models. Uh, related to budget impact analysis, this implementation was estimated to have saved to the health system approximately $14 million from the period of 2022 to 2024. In summary, differentiated service delivery models were less expensive and more effective in retaining clients 12 months after antiretroviral therapy initiation, and they generate cost saving for the health system for the period analysis. Thank you.